Back in the United States, Confederate statues continue to fall amidst nationwide protest against white supremacy and the monuments celebrating the U.S. legacy of slavery and racism. The University of Texas at Austin has removed three statues of Confederate leaders. In an email to students, the university president wrote, quote, We do not choose our history, but we choose what we honor and celebrate on our campus, unquote. The University of Houston has announced it'll rename a dormitory now called Calhoun Lofts. Former Vice President John Calhoun was one of the most prominent pro-slavery figures in U.S. history. Meanwhile, in Baltimore, Maryland, activists took a sledgehammer to a 44-foot-tall monument of Christopher Columbus, destroying part of the statue, then attaching a sign to its base reading, the future is racial and economic justice. This is one Baltimore resident explaining why the statue was targeted in a video posted online. We're walking to the oldest monument to Christopher Columbus in North America. Christopher Columbus symbolizes the initial invasion of European capitalism into the Western Hemisphere. Columbus initiated a centuries-old wave of terrorism, murder, genocide, rape, slavery, ecological degradation, and capitalist exploitation of labor in the Americas. That Colombian wave of destruction continues on the backs of indigenous, African-American, and brown people. Racist monuments to slave owners and murderers have always bothered me.